I'm here. Okay? I'm here. Don't leave. I told you I would be here. And I'm always here. Sorry, the creator code. This thing was acting up. Oh, yeah. Drops in the title. Fuck! I can't fit it. Oh, my God. Oh, God, you're right. Hold on. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good idea. Good idea. Goodness. Thanks, dog. Uh, so, hi, everybody. Sorry I'm a little late. I was trying to get that working. But we're good. Yeah, so, uh, tonight we are sponsored by Marbles on Stream. Oh, my God. Thank you, Abilene. Holy crap. Thank you for the six gifties. Gracious. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Tonight's going to be fun. Dude, I have so much stuff that I actually don't like. I We're not going to be able to get to it all. I have so much stuff to do tonight. Okay, here's the thing. I've got a couple videos I want to watch. I wanted to play The Looker. I wanted to play that Lego demo. I wanted to play the Agent 64 demo. I have to play Akinator for Panda. I have to do something else that I'm keeping a secret for right now. We have marbles on stream for half an hour later tonight. We have a bounty I'm going to hit tonight. Tonight's a big night. There's a big evening tonight. Do it all at once. I can't. <laughs> Come on. I have so much stuff I'm doing tonight. Content overload. And then I can't even do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow, I'm playing Cuphead. Why'd you pog the bounty? Come on. We love bounties here. What if I told you it was Splitgate? Why don't you go ahead and download Splitgate? You can play with your streamer. Does that help? Huh? It'll be fun. Dude, so I was looking at the Card Shark deck. I, I told you guys that Card Shark sent me a deck uh, with the game release. It's actually a trick deck. You can tell the value of the card by looking at the back of it. Now, I have no idea how it works, but they swear it does. It's like an optical illusion. Like that. You can tell. You see the 5, 6, 7 at the top? 8, 9, 10? Apparently, that works. So I kind of want to learn how to cheat with this. That sounds fun. Yeah, I didn't even look at it that deep, so. Anyway, good evening, guys. Hope you guys are having a good, uh, Wednesday. I had to remember what day it is. Guys, I know many of you probably saw the tweet. But in case you did not, Tonight, we are celebrating the month of marbles. I'm going to be doing a stream. We're going to do a little bit of marbles later. Basically, marbles has creator codes now. They have Twitch drops, 30K in prize packs. You guys can read all this on your own if you want. But yeah, it's pretty sick. They reached out to me. They said they wanted to sponsor the stream. Kind of nice. Thank you, marbles, for sponsoring the stream. Appreciate it. Guys, haven't caught a stream in a bit. Did I miss a wheel champ after box art one? No, you didn't. You did not. Don't worry. I haven't done one in a while. I've been busy. Hold on. Oh, I forgot to add this. Oops. Is it just today or a month like roller champion? Just tonight. Just tonight. Short stream or short sponsorship just this evening. Okay. 
My HyperX Cloud Gaming Bluetooth earbuds are running out of juice. Will there be more earbuds to be won? No. We're not sponsored by HyperX anymore. So no, there will not. I would recommend buying some for yourself. <laughs> Guys, wait a minute. Oh my god, this is perfect music. You guys. It came. Look what I have. <laughs> I have not opened this yet. I have not opened this yet. I have not laid my eyes upon it. Okay. I only, I only have opened up the other box. Countdown to dropping the trophy. I wonder how fragile it is. I'm being very careful. Oh shit! It's extremely fragile. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's real. Look at that! It's actually, it's like made of crystal. It was probably just glass. <laughs> it came in like a velvet casing. Oh God. I'm gonna get my fingerprints all over. Best strikers player in the world. And that was at that tournament of eight content creators who didn't play the game. Amazing. All right, I got to put this back. Oh, dude, I'm actually scared to death. I'm going to knock it over at some point. Oh, dude, I'm going to actually knock it over. Hold on. There. It'll go in front. There, perfect. Mount it on the cab. You won't be able to see it. I need a trophy case. That's my one trophy. <laughs> I don't win anything. Thank you, Omnitoad. Keep it in the case? No! I can't see it in the case! Nail it to the table. It's made out of glass. Come on. You have a casing for your four PS5 games? <laughs> there will be more. There's God of War. Bloodborne 2? Right? Is it Marbles Night? Yeah, we're gonna do Marbles for about half an hour later on tonight. We have so much stuff to talk about, which means we gotta get this out of the way fast. Let's go. This is Zoomer shit. I don't know. This is a Zoomer song, yeah. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Geometry Dash? They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. I don't know Take what this hand, is. My D, and bless I don't know who that is. See ya. Dance Monkey? Somebody in chat said Dance Monkey, and I thought they were being mean to the streamer. I thought they were being mean to me. Like, Dance Monkey, and I'll sub, you know? What an awful song. I don't... I've never... Wait, 2019? How have I never heard this? I've never heard of this song. Damn, dude! Shit! Ugh. I knew it from Fortnite. That song's in Fortnite? Uh... 80s, right? This looks 80s. What the fuck? Oh. 
I've never seen this movie. Is that Tim Robbins? Is that Danny DeVito? Is Danny DeVito in that movie? Is that Tim Robbins? Is that the guy's name? Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. This. No. Maybe not. I don't know who that is. This movie is great, but so dark. I don't know anything. Wait, that's not Tim Robbins. Never mind. I don't know anything about it. I just know it's like a book, right? Thanks, Rigid. Rigid, I, I want you to know I'm still playing through. It's not. It's Brad Durif. Durif. Christopher Lloyd is in that movie? Dude. I want to watch this. This movie sounds amazing. Oh, he's like, I also thought it was Wretched, not Wretched. It's a stupid movie, and it sucks. <laughs> Literally, dozens of people have disagreed with you. Isn't it based on a book? Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it a Stephen King book? But no, that's stupid. I'll watch it. Yeah. Seems neat. Cool. Coney does hate the thing. I don't hate the thing. I don't like the thing. Not because it's a bad... Is this just Diablo? Oh, dude, that was my second guess. Yeah, 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 that was my second guess. I swear to God. I swear, you're not gonna believe me. I thought that was my second guess. Because this is the first part where you fight the knife guy. Who didn't get it? <laughs> Who not, like, if you don't get it by four, you're not gonna get it by five and six. This needs a remake, Bat Chest. Honestly, though, this game would bang if it got a remake. It actually would be good. But I don't know if Square and Nintendo could come to a terms up. You know what I mean? A remake where it's good. <laughs> it's a pretty good game. I think people overrate it. Dude, whenever I meet somebody and they say they love the first Paper Mario, I'm like, what? The first Paper Mario is so basic. It is extremely simple. Thousand Year Door is, uh, is... I can see why people like it, even though I don't think it's a... What the heck is that? <laughs> What did they, what did you make? I can't see it. What did you make? What did he make? <laughs> Squidward with boobs. Listen, I am a fan of Assy. Is that how you say it? Assy, Assy, I'm a fan of it. I just can't say that out loud because then everybody will do it. It's good as a sometimes treat. Thank you for stopping by the stream. Assy, okay. What I was going to say, our okay, guy, is you could remake this game and probably make it amazing. I would love this game in a claymation style. I would love every game in a claymation style. It's just Nintendo and, and Square probably don't know what to do. Who owns Geno, bro? It's a tough one. Nintendo doesn't like Mario games they didn't make. They will if they start hurting. The thing is, Nintendo is privileged right now to be booming with success, right? If they start hurting, if stuff starts to go bad, I feel like we're going to see a lot more remakes of old shit. Where they're like, hey guys, remember us? But like obscure shit or not obscure shit. I think Link's uh Link's Awakening is kind of obscure. 
What I meant to say is the obvious shit. The same way that Square held on to the uh, Final Fantasy VII card for like 30 years and was like, fuck it, deploy it. Whatever, make it eight games. Nintendo will do that too. They're gonna do it with like, not obscure games. I saw an article the other day that said Nintendo, like, you know, they're gonna have trouble pivoting out of the Switch. I think Reggie was talking about it. And, uh... I don't know how you do it. I don't even know if you should. I feel like it's foolish to say that, uh... There's nothing beyond the Switch, right? It's kind of stupid to say that, because there's always more. But, like, I think the Switch is perfect. Just keep making more Switches. Please. I'm down for it. Did you guys see this? Apparently, John Cena kept telling Nintendo how much he loves Metroid. I don't fucking buy it for a second. Maybe I'm gatekeeping. <laughs> Maybe I'm, 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 I, I don't believe it for a goddamn second. You put Ridley in front of John Cena and he's not going to know their name. I don't believe it. Krista Yang confirmed it. I don't believe her then. I don't believe them. Speaking of acid, Best Buy has online lessons for positions where you can leave comments. <laughs> and a lot of people post SI of surprised Pikachu and Babby Yogi even in the comments section for a lesson on active shoulders. I am serious. Where? What? Do you work at a Best Buy? People leave comments on a Best Buy? I, dude, I felt so sad because I tried to get a job at Best Buy and they wouldn't fucking hire me. <laughs> I'm not good enough for Best Buy. I think it's because they have a survey that's like, if you saw an employee stealing, what would you do? And blah, blah, blah. And like, they have a ton of questions like that. And if you are not 100% compliant, I think they don't hire you. Why would you ever want to work at a Best Buy when you're 17? Dude, when you're 17, Best Buy is like... A Fortune 500 company. If you're that old, working at Best Buy is is like you've made it. It's a dream. As you get older, it gets worse. Oh, is it actually a Fortune 500 company? Okay, wait. You you know what I mean? Okay. I don't believe John Cena likes Metroid. I want to find a way to gut check Cena at like a movie premiere. I get in front of the line and I hold up a picture of Crane and I'm like, John, who's this? Who's that? Uh, I don't know. Is that a Marvel supervillain? Killer Croc? No! I knew you were a fake fan! John Cena likes Metroid as much as Cody likes Earthworm Jim. That's true. I don't really care about Earthworm Jim. I'm not a real Earthworm Jim fan. I liked it when I was younger. The creator apparently got kind of weird. Sorry, I had something floating in front of me. He was playing Dread on the Peacemaker set? I don't believe it. I don't know why I can't see John Cena enjoying Metroid. If John Cena likes a Nintendo game, it's probably... Mario. Probably Mario. Also, uh, I've, <laughs> I've been getting recommended Pikmin videos in my YouTube recommended now. They're tier listing Pikmin enemies. And I'm like, I don't want to watch this. I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I love Pikmin. It's my favorite Nintendo series, but why? Uh, I miss Pikmin? Me too, every day. I think, I, I think Pikmin makes me sad because Pikmin is the only Nintendo, it's the only game series. How many game series do not have any equivalent, right? Like, there are a lot of Zelda-likes and a lot of Mario-likes. There's nothing that feels like Pikmin. 
Pikmin feels... It's the only game that's like that, you know? So you have to just fucking wait. It's so sad. Wait a month for Tinykin? Tinykin isn't the same either. Because Tinykin is more like a platformer. It's It's got similar vibes, and I did like it. It was fun. The demo was good, but... It's not the same. I don't know. Hotel Transylvania 3 is a Pikmin game. I'm looking it up. What if it is? If it is, I want to play it. Oh my god, you meant it. I can't believe you were telling the truth. Oh my god. There's even the Adam. rock walls. That's unbelievable. Why did they do that? It's on Steam? You guys want to know what else is on Steam? I picked up a game today. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what was on sale? <laughs> Twelve dollars. Twelve fucking dollars. I had to. I had to. I fucking had to. Jacob and I talked about it on the podcast today. By the way, we recorded two new episodes, me and Alpharad, so podcast will be up soon. I can't wait. I'm very excited. Not worth it? I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. I'm not going to play it, though. It looks bad. When did this come out? The walkthrough is out in 2018. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Yahoo! See, look, the final cave of Pikmin 2 Kaizo. I am Sam Dude. Hill, the guy who made Dexter's Lab really were like, hey, bro, we played Pikmin once. Also, Balan is a poor man's Sonic Adventure 2. No, uh, dude, I hate Hotel Transylvania because they took Popeye from me. It was supposed to be Popeye, and they stole that shit. Crazy. See, this is the guy, Hef. He's a YouTuber that makes exclusively Pikmin content. <laughs> Crazy. I thought it was the Emoji Movie. Oh, is that what I'm thinking of? It looks like Hotel Transylvania, though. It was probably both. Yeah, this guy keeps getting recommended. If you're into Pikmin content, check out this guy, Hef. Shoutouts. Evolution of Pac-Man deaths and game over screens. 8.8 .8 million views? To watch Pac-Man die? What the fuck? That's a watch later? <laughs> Alright, I'll put it on the list. I'll put it on the list, whatever. Okay. One more. One more of these, go. Please be hard. Please don't be too easy. Please... Forget it, chat! It's Chinatown! I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't know what this is, actually. It's a... old movie. But color... One of the Godfathers? I don't... The Last Godfather? I don't know. There's like cops and shit. I don't know. Wait. 
No, the searcher would have fistful of the. It's some western. Like I don't. I've never seen this movie. I don't know. The Sting. Never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Mal? Sorry, I thought Mal was home. I was gonna go up and say goodnight to baby. Sorry. I didn't know if she was home. Never heard of this movie. Is it a Western? No. I can't tell if it was a Western or a cop movie. Not even remotely. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. I don't know why my alerts do that whenever I change things. Okay. Um... Song's killing me. Thanks, Ozuberg. It's a heist movie? Okay. Well, I mean, heist movies could take a lot of different forms, right? All right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Where do we even begin tonight? All right. This is where we're going to start, okay? Now, I brought this up, I brought this up uh, yesterday or a few days ago because I wanted to watch it, but I said that I didn't want to watch it without talking to somebody first. There is a creator that I know that I'm a big fan of known as Wait in the Wings. Wait in the Wings makes uh, sort of theater content, sort of Broadway, musicals, whatever. He does all this stuff. Um... It's actually very interesting to me as somebody who enjoys theater but not a theater kid. No, we watched the Spider-Man one a long time ago, and we were a fan. Uh, he made this WWF one. There was something called WWF New York way back when I was a kid, and I always wondered what the hell that was. I reached out to Wait in the Wings. I said, hey, would you mind if I watch this on stream? If not, I totally understand what you do is way harder than what I do. And making a video like this to have one fucking guy watch it with a chat. You know, I don't want to do that if you don't want it. And so, he reached back and he said, no, it's fine. So here we are. So we're going to, I'm, I'm going to watch this. I would highly recommend you guys check out this Fun Home one. Fun Home rules. Uh, Mal and I watched this the other day because we're a big fan of this. We watched it last night, actually, because she was up at 11.30 because the baby wouldn't go to sleep. <laughs> but these are great videos, and we're going to watch this one right now. I'm going to watch it at the same time so he gets my view. There we go. Fine. Go to it right now. Hold on. I swear I didn't pre-watch this. I didn't pre-watch this. I promise. It's brought to you by Squarespace. Oh, yeah. Don't watch Fun Home if you're sad. <laughs> it's, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah! He's pretty bad. Hey, Cunny, you will be glad to know that I completely redesigned you for any and all future cartoons I do of you. I think you will find <laughs> this one in particular to be more accurate to what you look like. That's I not what like. I look like. <laughs> you just, you just saw, it was literally just in a, ta it just was open. That's how, <laughs> it's not even wearing a hat and has red hair. What are you talking about? He's skinny. White guy with prominent jaw. That's not a prominent jaw. This is just an art style. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's 1964. An article from the New York Times blares the headline, A theater closes, and in era two, as the Paramount Theater goes dark. Once the home to legendary artists like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, The Beatles, and even Elvis Presley's first Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, The Beatles, and even Elvis Presley's first okay. feature film, the popularity of the once Is illustrious it quiet? Paramount Theater in Times Square. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had to go. I. <laughs> it was a charity event. It was a charity event. Different times. 
different times the Beatles were playing for a charity. I don't know why we picked that shot. You really went back for that? Dude, I literally, I read it and I was like, I can't believe that that was on my screen. I, I, I shouldn't have gone back. Declined. It was a medical it term. To shutter its doors. As time rolled on, <laughs> what an insane thing to put at the start of the video. The imposing entrance arch and illustrious marquee vanished. The Beatles are notoriously problematic. Yeah, they had a problem making good music. Eventually, I hate the leaving Beatles. the Grand Theater completely. God, I sound like a contrarian. I just don't like the Beatles. I'm not a Beatles guy. Sorry. Okay, I'm getting a lot of truing. Okay, we're all contrarians. The Never void mind. of life. I just don't like the Beatles. And then the 90s happened. At the height of their popularity, the World Wrestling Federation sought to infuse the space with a new type of attitude. <laughs> Bro. Sought to infuse the space with a new type of attitude. I forgot about UPN. Oh my god. UPN used to be the shit for other people, not for me. They would just air garbage all the time. <laughs> Remember Shasta McNasty? Talk about your songs. Talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I'm There was the coolest shit in the world to me when I was a kid. So after 100 hours of WWF, 1,658 crotch gestures, 434 obscene phrases. I'm here to finish it. Try to do it. Dude, I forgot Big Show had this Caesar haircut. He looked like shit. It was tough. I miss being a wrestling fan. I feel like everybody was. It's so weird to me when shit like this is so popular for a short time and then just goes away. You know what I mean? Happening in Times Square during this time. The once grungy and unsafe symbol of a city in decay was becoming a must see destination for tourists and big business. Wait, that. This is what Times Square was like? Really? I didn't know that. Oh my god. I thought Times Square was always this like big glorious hub of culture. I didn't know that it was so sleazy. Sex shops got outlawed. It was all strip clubs. In Times Square? Are you serious? Never saw Taxi Driver? I did, but I always thought he was in a different part of New York. I was like, oh, he's in the bad part. He's in, I don't know, the Bronx. I don't know. I didn't know he was in Times Square. Was becoming a must-see destination for tourists and big business. When I go to New York, so I stay in Times WWF Square in Manhattan. So I, I figured it's change. just bad other places. And I don't know. Importantly, what can it tell us about the unforgiving underbelly? The crossroads of the world. I don't know. Tell me. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about hard times. Whether you're an is this, artist, a writer, this is the a ed. baker's assistant, a good on, so good on, good on this guy. And that's for going above and beyond. That's good. That's terrific. Dude, Cartman was fucking everywhere. I, dude, I was literally thinking of this the other day. Hold on. Dude, there was a time where Cartman was fucking everywhere, and this asshole, his whole gimmick was having a Cartman doll. This fucking guy wore Cartman clothes everywhere. God, I forgot about that. Golga? Was that his name? I don't know. He was like a big... This was like Earthquake, I think. Typhoon? I don't know. He was a big guy. And he used to be a, like a good wrestler. And now he's a Cartman vessel. <laughs> it was insane. There Is was that no infringement? Not back then, I guess. You D Cartman was fucking everywhere, bro. It was insane. Bigger shift in popular culture quite like the one that happened in the 1990s. Any semblance of the glitz or glamour that dominated the 80s was overshadowed by a grunge-filled cloud of counterculture. And nothing showcased this better than pro wrestling. Shakespeare in tights, 
the never-ending conflicts between good, evil, and whatever the big show is. Now, sure, it's easy to dismiss professional wrestling for being. I love fake that clip of him the crying. End of the matches are predetermined, but by that same token, so is the musical Cats. So pro wrestling seems so it. funny. It's, it's still real to me, damn it! It's so bizarre to me that this is entertainment. Can a medium? Stuff you know, like this. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. He he power bombed a ninety-year-old woman. <laughs> Dude, Bubba Ray Dudley hated women. He power bombed every woman he saw. I forgot about that. It became like a gimmick that he would only power bomb women. By 1999, the storylines, characters, that. and a new rebellious spirit oh, dude. transformed the World Wrestling Federation from about a that. tame, family friendly product of the 80s into a gritty 1990s behemoth that dripped with attitude. Pro wrestling was inescapable. With the cable ratings war between the World Wrestling Federation's Monday Night Raw and its competitor, World Championship Wrestling's Monday Nitro, propelling it into the mainstream. Basically think of the Monday Night Wars like Coke versus Pepsi, but with a tank and a lot more chair shots. Apparently there was never an actual but tank. Isn't that crazy? Apparently that's like a, a Mandela effect thing. A lot of people think that they actually drove a tank, but they never did. I guess because of that. Tank. That's not a tank. No, it's a Jeep. Is Vince McMahon. They advertise it like a tank money. now? Okay. A lot. Both as a character and as the owner of the WWF. Unlike most CEOs who sat safely in owner of the WWF. Unlike Do you see this? He owns a dinosaur. This is like an actual dinosaur bone head. It's a dinosaur skull in his office. That's some Suda 51 shit. Like most CEOs it's who sat safely in their cushy corporate offices, McMahon wasn't afraid to get a beer bath from a Texas rattlesnake or get kicked in the grapefruits by his wife on a pay-per-view. McMahon would do anything as long as he thought it was best for business. He's a fucking With carny. The WWF well into its second it's definitely home, a replica. Copium. Record highs. You think and he can't get a dinosaur head? Superstars were household names. McMahon I can't wait for this old man to turn into dust. He will never die. He only looks older and older. There is a portrait of Vince McMahon as he was backstage. And every year it ages. I did that it was time to attempt diversifying the brand. He's too angry to die. The company attempted branching out a few times before with a bodybuilding federation and a line of supplements, both of which failed stupendously. McMahon even spent $10 million to buy a Debbie Reynolds-themed casino in Las Vegas with the hopes of rebranding it into the WWF style. Debbie Reynolds? Who? Who's that? Uh... She's in Singing in the Rain? Halloween Town? <laughs> I don't know who this is. The Debbie Reynolds? No. No, not the... She was... I, I've never heard of this woman. I guess an old star. She was on Kid Possible. And Rugrats. <laughs> what the fuck? However, after the mock-ups were designed, the project ultimately oh, died shit! a silent death when McMahon realized that the burden of running a casino just wasn't worth it. Bro, imagine that on the, the Vegas the Strip. Project. This shit? Oh my god, that's insane. For every failure McMahon endured, that's huge. he also enjoyed his fair share of wins. Successes that came from acting on the ideas that other people thought were crazy. It's also worth noting that he's done a lot of disturbing things behind the scenes that I'm not going to dive into here. Because really, yeah. this is less a story about Vince McMahon and more so a story about a crazy idea the company acted on. Dude, I was going to say, I'm shocked that like this video came out at this time because he's in the news right now. Did you guys see what he did? 
so he's under all this fire and like there's all these accusations of what he's been doing and they were like Vince McMahon will be on the show tonight and he came out and he he showed up on on TV and he was like I'm still here and I'll be here forever and then he left uh, it, it's so weird the guy is a fucking carnival attraction. He can't help it. He's been on each show since. Wait, really? He keeps showing up? Yeah, there's a lot of allegations. You guys can look it up. On, I, I just... I feel like no wrestlers are normal people. At least not the old ones. They're all a little fucked up. And if you're not fucked up, you're like Bret Hart and you're bitter because everybody was so fucked up, you know? A crazy idea that would only work. Carney is the insight. They're all Carney first. Like <laughs> went home. No one place has played a bigger role in the promotion's nearly 60 year history as New York City. Professional wrestling was as ingrained as baseball and cheap pizza. Really? The only thing possibly more popular in New York City during this time? Theme restaurants. Instead of something uh, like an Applebee's, where like a Planet Hollywood, into a yeah, 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 yeah. Environment to eat mediocre, <laughs> overpriced. What the fuck is happening here? What? Why did he make this image? Why did he spend all this time to make this 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 image? <laughs> he could have just posted an Applebee's. Food. Why did he do that? Theme restaurants transport <laughs> patrons to another world of fantasy and whimsy while providing them with mediocre, Not overpriced food. food. Microwave. On any given night in New York, a person could eat in a Martian cave, Dr. Jekyll's laboratory, <laughs> or a Hollywood memorabilia fever dream. In a revitalized Times Square, heavily reliant on tourism, theme restaurants appeared to be a gold mine to Vince McMahon. And he wanted to cash in on the city he considered himself to be a mogul. <laughs> oh, this is good editing. In this is great editing. McMahon signed a $24.5 million lease for a 46,000 square foot space. Oh my right God. In the heart of it all. In the That's Paramount not that much Peter money. Building. Construction began on the first ever WWF restaurant that November. I feel like that's not now, that much for that space. But wrestling theme restaurants. Oh, this was in the nineties, right? Been right, right. Yeah. Before this, yeah, yeah, yeah. To varying levels of success. And what you gonna do in the Mall of America, brother, when Hulk Hogan, <laughs> Pasta Mania, and all my Pasta Maniacs are <laughs> on you? Why pasta? Why would he make pasta? He should be a meat guy, right? Uh, I guess pasta is cheap and easy to make. Yeah. Pasta mania is running wild. Just one year before the WWF com Wait. On you. Just is that Eric Bischoff? Oh, this is WCW. Okay. One I thought this was older. The Never WWF mind. committed to the venture. It's competitive. I'm a pasta maniac too. Mallory's a pasta maniac. getting ready to reclaim its dominance at the top opening its own theme restaurant called the Nitro Grill in Las Vegas. Somehow, the competition <laughs> between the wrestling giants left out of the TV I world forgot about and Robocop. into the food industry. Oh. But WWF New York wasn't just going to be a theme restaurant. As one of the owners put it, it was going to be an entertainment complex with a retail store, a nightclub, a custom space for superstar a nightclub even an underground arcade on the building to go exterior, hang out at the, the WWF, WWF the nightclub back to its former glory reconstructing the original entry arch the paramount sign and even installing a new digital marquee Ooh, in all the WWE fancy. reported to the SEC that renovations cost 16 million dollars Nearly 60 Jesus. years after a horde of Frank Sinatra fans stormed the Paramount to hear his golden pipes. A crowd I've been to Times Square. It's mid as hell. No, Times Square is great. You have to go to Times Square to see it because the, the sensory overload of lights is absurd. 
it's it's just it's cultural overload. It is a, it is insane. I'm not saying it's great. I'm just saying you have to go there to see it, to understand it at that scale. It's crazy. Times Square at night is an actual spectacle. Yeah. Dude, Times Square is is crazy. Everybody should go at least once. Wrestling fans surrounded the building to get it's a nuts. of what The Rock was cooking at WWF New York's grand opening on January 19th, 2000. The most standout thing about Times Square are the pigeons. They don't care about people at all. No, pigeons in urban areas don't give a shit. Dude, in Daytona, the pigeons were walking up to me. Those are some fucked up birds. The opening night extravaganza was wild. With way too many people. Also, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, uh, I found out the what was he cooking meme. I didn't know he was actually cooking something. Hold on. I, I brought this up to Little Z because I'd never seen Avengers. And I brought this up and he was like, oh, yeah, he's actually like cooking a soup. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? They were like, yeah, he, he like takes a vegetable and he puts it in the pot. I was like, wait, what? This was on the CEO stream. Yeah, I didn't know he was actually cooking. I thought this was like a joke. I didn't know he was actually cooking something. Does it matter? <laughs> what was he cooking? 233K views. Glasses at night. And closed I did not with a see concert Avengers, by no. the band Sugar Ray. Because it was basically still the 90s. Theoretically, the restaurant had everything to make it a success. It was a great location, and wrestling was at the pinnacle of its popularity. Yeah, this shit should have been. A hardcore fan base. Practically, however, the restaurant faced a difficult climb up the ladder of success. The once thriving theme restaurant bubble of the mid 90s busted once the new millennium rolled around. <laughs> Plans for a Planet Hollywood New York City hotel were abandoned and the company started selling off properties like mad in an attempt uh. to stay afloat. Across the globe, sales at once popular theme restaurants tumbled as the did you know that Hulk Hogan was a commentator for the National Pokemon Championship back in 2006? <laughs> we got to get him for this Smash Brothers shit. That's crazy. What was he even saying? What could he... He can't... I don't think Hulk Hogan could name three Pokemon. I think he could name one. <laughs> he doesn't know any of these. Then again, neither do I. I don't know what that guy's name is. I know that's Mugkip. And that's a plusle? Because there's a plus? There he goes gatekeeping again. No wrestler should enjoy any kind of culture. Wrestlers only like wrestling. He knows Pikachu, maybe. That's it. He can probably name more than you. We both know that's not true. Come on. Novelty wore off quicker than anyone's popular theme restaurants tumbled as the novelty wore off. What the f volcanic plo What? What is this? <laughs> quicker than Why is there anyone a blender? expected. Leaving patrons with distracting decor that consistently failed to make up for the middle of the road food. WCW inevitably found themselves a victim of this and the Nitro Grill closed in September of 2000 after being in business for just over a year. I just As don't, prices why would you go there? For Times Square real estate, more and more venues shuttered their doors. WWF New York- But still there's a lot of rainforest the cafes. Of they're everywhere, the and I don't understand no why. The idea of predicting how the entertainment complex would actually perform. The restaurant did open with a leg up to their competition by having a concept that children. Yeah, but children also love wrestling. Although I guess back then it wasn't a children's thing. Like this is all rated R shit. You know what I mean? 
So maybe, I guess that's the issue here. I don't know. My kids just went to a birthday at Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, I feel like kids love that stuff. But, like, kids don't like Planet Hollywood. Right? The Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde restaurant in NYC is still around. I think, I think at a certain point, you go over the hill of, like, how can this sustain itself? And then it's just like, oh, that's like a, that's an attraction now. You know what I mean? Like at a certain point, that just becomes your, your legacy sustains you. Adapted with the times. Kane was calling, Triple H was calling Kane the R word every week. I, I forgot about that. He was. I, yeah. There are less than 30 rainforest cafes left on the planet. Wait, Really? I know there's one in Orlando, but I guess that's the Disney one, right? Hard Rock is still going strong? Uh, I guess so. Planet Hollywood is for millennials these days. Oh, they updated it? I've had this thought. When do they update grocery store music? Like, I feel like grocery store music has been the same since I was a kid. So do they... Do they I, I I haven't been in a grocery store in a while, but do they now play like early 2000s or 90s tracks for adults? You know what I'm saying? It's just pop music? I, I don't think it is. When I went into grocery stores like a giant or something, it's like easy listening, you know? It's just top 100 usually. Oh, okay, well. They play Bruno Mars. <laughs> Listening to Uptown Funk while I buy Hot Pockets. I don't know. I associate, like, I associate grocery store music with, I, I don't know, Hall & Oates, right? That's honestly not far off. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Other theme restaurants found themselves trapped in non-flexible concepts that rapidly became outdated whereas WWF New York possessed lasting appeal thanks to an ever-changing TV landscape. It also had the added benefit of exclusivity. Unlike Planet Hollywood, which rapidly expanded added benefit of exclusivity. I forgot about this poster. This fucking creepy po- hold on. <laughs> Bro, this unforgiven poster? Used to give me nightmares. Oh my god. The greatest battles are fought from within. Yeah, it's terrifying. This used to freak me out. Oh my god. Looks like something from Spy Kids. Unlike Planet Hollywood, which rapidly expanded from just one spot in New York to over 20 locations worldwide just five years later. A trip to WWF New York felt that much more special because it was the only one in existence. WWF stood out in Times Square's ever-growing sanitized landscape. Its 30-foot scratch logo providing one last that looks like gasp shit. of 1990s counterculture. But surprisingly, the angsty attitude of the WWF stopped as soon as someone walked through the doors. Coney, check out the 3D Austin cube from Unforgiven. What? <laughs> Is that the thing I just showed? Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, I, I looked it up. I can't find it. Steve Austin 3D cube. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, I can't find it. Even though it was a wrestling-themed restaurant, the space was surprisingly light on any wrestling decor or themed Dude, this looks miserable. Look at these fucking lights. That's so bright. Thanks, Wicked Fart 577 This looks awful. This is so hot. The lights are bearing right down on you. You're trying to eat. You look up at the waiter and you Oh! <laughs> That's awful. I, I, this does not look pleasurable. I wouldn't want to be under 
lights like these. The space was surprisingly just gonna light burn alive. Wrestling decor or memorabilia. If you're bald, you might like the only actually thing get really burned. Distinguishing it as a WWF restaurant were the wall of TVs playing a short cycle of clips from the shows, a few metal guardrails, and a never-ending loop of wrestler theme songs <laughs> playing over the speakers. <laughs> Like the Nitro Grills menu, which boasted items like what was he eating? The Gold Burger, <laughs> the Booker T Bone, <laughs> the Superplex Salmon Filet, and chicken tenders called Broken Fingers. Oh God! WWF New York's menu was just Ugh. normal, despite the ripe opportunity to have menu items like the Stone Cold Spaghetti or. <laughs> I wouldn't order pasta that said it was cold. I don't know about that. Sweet, chilly music. All patrons got <laughs> was an underwhelming hamburger. He's got a puke! But whatever the venue lacked in decor and food, this it editing is to killing me, dude. In promotion. This is the weird ass Austin 3D cube. All right. God. Holy shit. I'm sorry to any of our younger viewers. Please don't go crying to your parents. Oh my god. Oh, viewers plummeting. Stone Cold Steve Austin jump scare. How many subs to emote it? What would that even look like? Wicked Fart is crying now. What would that emote even be? What's the emote? This? Holy shit, dude. I, I, were they going for like a... This is like a hundred sub bomb notification to jump scare the stream. I gotta like green screen this. Oh my god. Where'd he go? What? He just takes off? I don't think they've ever made anything else like that. So I, I feel like uh, <laughs> they probably knew how bad it was. Holy shit, that rules. WWF always found a way to feature the restaurant in their live broadcasts. One second, a guest would be eating a steak, and the next, they'd see their daughter get kidnapped by the big show. And be Wait, eating that's not a steak. <laughs> Aware. <laughs> This is actually an aware moment. Pepper. <laughs> uh, in the storyline, Big Boss Man, who was a policeman, fed Al Snow his dog. Um, I don't remember why. But yeah, Big Boss Man was like a piece of shit. I don't know why Al Snow wrote help on his forehead. <laughs> this is such a weird picture to explain. Why are they in a hotel? A steak, and the next, they see their daughter get kidnapped oh. by the big show. As Wasn't it head, not help? No, it's help. The monthly Sunday night pay-per-view events were- He had wild. head. He had the head. For $125, guests could eat a gourmet three-course meal while watching Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe in a hardcore evening gown match on a giant screen. Cool. Not age well. Every Monday and Tuesday night, wrestling fans from the area gathered to watch episodes of Raw and SmackDown on many of the restaurant's televisions. Aside from this, that's actually and the periodic signings from superstars promoting either their books or their DVDs. By the way, that's actually mad fun. I highly recommend it. If you have never gone to a bar to watch pro wrestling, absolutely recommend it. It is hilarious. It is extremely funny. They get extremely invested. They get drunk, and they fucking hate certain people. Dude, the the... I went back when John Cena was big. I met so many bar people that fucking hated John Cena. Same with UFC or boxing. Yeah, but at least UFC or boxing is real, right? I saw so many people that swore they hated John Cena's fucking guts. It was unbelievable. 
the passion for people is the same. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, people still get just as invested, but shit's, shit's amazing. There's a guy that kept, so CM Punk's real name is, is Phil, and there's this guy who's like, oh, yeah, Phil's not happy about that. Oh, he was, like, acting like he was his best friend. Like, oh, yeah, Phil definitely didn't want to do that. Phil, so what the fuck are you talking it's weird. Restaurant was practically a ghost adult fans to make up. Kane for masks must have gone sucked. crazy, bro. Rey Mysterio is he built a career off of children buying his mask. That's insane to me. WWF New York was proving to be. Rey Mysterio's entire career could be attributed to eleven-year-olds buying the mask. You see, it was just a matter of time. Before I, Vince McMahon, bought my competition, the very fate of WCW is in. Is it weird to you when Smashers call you by your name over Coney? Yes. Please don't do that. Nobody's done that. But don't ever do that. If we have not met, please don't do that. <laughs> my hands. Promotion and consultant fees as well as high overhead costs from <laughs> WWF New York. Why they got Lance Storm mopping the floors? Oh, is this so let's the go WWF back for a thing? Second to yeah, 1961. Yeah. A man named Max Nicholson started an organization dedicated to funding Cute. the protection of places and species threatened by human development. Did you know pandas are really fucking dumb? Apparently that's true. Do you know what a group of pandas is called? An embarrassment. That's not a joke. A Swiss organization named the World Wildlife Fund. <laughs> the WWF. An embarrassment of pandas. In 2000, <laughs> the World Wrestling Federation held a pay-per-view in London, breaching an agreement stating the WWF logo would only be used in the United States. And within no time, the World Wildlife Fund sued McMahon. Yeah. After losing the case in May of 2002, the World Wrestling Federation was forced to legally change its name. A new marketing campaign began airing on WWF programming with the phrase, get the F out, as- Bro, that's a clever- I remember seeing this, I was like, damn, WWF that's smart. Programming ...with the phrase, get the F out. That's a clever- That's pretty good marketing. That's good marketing, honestly. Considering their sort of vibe at the time, very as smart. World Good Wrestling shit. Federation Not bad. Officially became known as World Wrestling Entertainment. WWE. Furthermore, the name change also allowed the company to finally reposition WWF New York in a way that could potentially attract non-wrestling fans into the nightclub portion. Uh, Later that year, they dropped WWF New York ooh, and get it, renamed Jeff. it The World. <laughs> It was no secret that the restaurant was losing money. But as the <laughs> accountants... Wait, what are they looking the at? Is that ice? Ice sculpture? What even is that? Who's in there? It was no secret that the restaurant Everybody's was losing Everybody's looking at the money. other side of the street. I don't know why that's so funny. Oh, is that David Blaine? Ah, okay. But as the WWE accountants looked over financial reports, for the imagine space, needing that much attention. They noticed a handful Look, everybody, of I'm ice. Transactions. Just in case yourself in ice in front of New York prior, City, it in Times Square. That several company checks were used to pay a company named CSG Construction nearly four hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. When the accountants handed off the reports to the district attorney's office, uh -huh. it came back that CSG construction didn't even exist. It came to light that a former manager for the world named Kenton Jenkins embezzled money from the venue for nearly <gasps> a year, using the money from the stolen checks to pay off his mortgage and to even buy himself a 160 Jenkins! Vehicle. The scheme only ended because Jenkins got fired for an entirely unrelated issue that June. As a spokesperson for the WWE said in a statement to the New York Post, so they Post, would have never caught him. Fired because the restaurant had not performed as well as we thought it should. Dude, 
If the restaurant was still banging, that guy would buy multiple boats. Revenue that for guy the would world be fucking rich. By the end of Reading is attitudinal. <laughs> I forgot they had a cookbook. Also, Mick Foley made a Christmas book. 2002. Considering that around the same time, Toys R Us in Times Square was paying roughly $12 million a year for its space. Oh my god. Rent prices alone were enough to put the WWE's wallet in a headlock. Times Square is a nightmare, And after adding dude. in food costs, utility costs, cost of merchandise, paying employees, and so on, it was clear that the restaurant just was never going to turn a massive profit. In February of 2003, just one month after Monday Night Raw's 10th anniversary, Vince McMahon's Damn. wife, Linda, announced that the world would cease all operations. It was only up for like four years? WWE's money into different efforts. That sucks. Officially shuttering its doors in April of 2003. Oh, that's terrible. Right across the street from the Paramount Theater sits the one Times Square building. Considering every square inch is masked by billboards and LED screens, you, you should go. It's easy you to should forget see it, the you guys. gorgeous structure hidden underneath. The building has oh, long what? loomed over Times Square's ever-changing landscape. And once an ad I've for never seen Hills it naked found its way to the top of this structure, it became clearer than ever what the future of Times Square would be. Thousands of companies fighting for ah. someone's attention with gigantic glowing screens. And yeah, I've never seen that, that time, building naked. It looks one great. Thing hasn't changed. People's desire for distraction. WWF New York and the countless theme restaurants of Times Square wanted to cash in on this. Being so hyper focused, Wait, theme restaurants of Times Square wanted to cash in on this. I this still exists? I've been to New York. I've never seen that guy. I've never seen that dude. Maybe they were working on it. I, 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 I feel like I've seen this bar, but not him. It's gone now. Oh, that's sad. Okay, I never saw it, and I live here. <laughs> Does the skeleton only come out at certain times? He's roaming. Yeah, where is he now? Where is the skeleton? It's like an Elden Ring, how a boss only shows up at certain times of the day. That's terrifying. Jekyll and Hyde isn't even, like, skeleton-themed. That's so strange. Being so hyper-focused on stimulating experiences of sight, sound, and touch, on stimulating experiences of sight, sound... This diner fucking sucks. I hate this diner. I don't know what the name of it is. I assume it's Stardust. Uh, it's it's like a diner, but all of the waiters are aspiring uh, musical theater people. And uh, they do, they sing songs. Like every 15 minutes or so. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? Give me, give me one use case for this emote. Literally any use case for this emote. <laughs> Literally anything at all. There's no reason for this. <laughs> There's no reason. <laughs> this is fucking awful. <laughs> okay, I we got to get rid of another one, though. You guys, we're full. We never use this to buzz one. I'm getting rid of it. It's so good, though. I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. I hate doing this. Every time we try to add something. We have to do this little dance. We never use disenchanted now. 
get rid of the stupid dog? Which one? Cute dog? No, you're right. We could get rid of... We can get rid of cute dog, I think. What's the difference between big please and sour? It's the same thing. What's <laughs> Peppo Brum Brum? Nobody ever uses this one. We have like five car emotes. Why do we have so many car emotes? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the goose. We never use this. Never use it. Unforgiven. Getting rid of the goose. Nobody ever fucking uses that. And, and Why would you? That they neglected possibly the most important sense. Taste. After WWF New York closed, the Hard Rock Cafe took over with Unforgiven a is added on its food. <laughs> And over 16 years later, the restaurant is still turning a profit. Really? And yet, regardless of its failings, WWF New York represented a glorious. So time Hard Rock to Cafe is there now, and they're making money. That's City. crazy. And served as further proof that when it comes to Times Square, it's all about the game and how you play it. Wait a minute. And do and yelling about this shit for like an hour and a half. And my neighbors, if they were outside, it was a nice day out tonight too. Oh god. Okay. Oh no. But if you think that a WWE restaurant in New York City was a crazy idea, what about an entire Spider-Man musical? Click on this video to learn ah. some of the craziest untold stories from Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Great CTA. Well done. Big fan of Wait in the Wings. You guys should check this guy out. Uh, like I said, he's put out a bunch of videos that we like. Check him out. He's got a fun home video if you like fun home. There's that Pikmin again. You see that? Crazy. Good movie, bro. Good movie. Good movie. And we got more in a second, uh, but I think I hear Mallory, so I'm going to go uh, say goodnight to her. So I'll be right back one sec. <laughs>
Okay. I'm back. Sorry. Uh, so Juliet has started to say, I love you too. The cutest thing in the world. Cutest thing in the world. If you say I love you, she says, Afu too. She says, Afu too. It's very cute. Afu too. It's adorable. Show us a video at 3K subs. Vince! Why is he monetizing? You said that, not me. At 100K. 100K YouTube subs, maybe. Hey, in case you guys are just getting here, I got the trophy. Check it out. Very happy. Check this out, bro. Amazing. Thank you, Toon. can't really see it in the back there, and if it falls, it's definitely going to shed. So... Yeah, I, I, I really hope I don't drop it. Okay, we have to do something for Panda now. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait in the wings. Are you here? Are you in the chat? Coney is streaming the New York video, and I'm so ashamed he doesn't know who Debbie Reynolds is. You think I would, right? Wait in the wings. If you are here, thank you so much for that movie. Excellent movie. Excellent movie. Big fan. That's Carrie Fisher's mom? Wait, really? I had no idea. Did not know that. How old is Juliet? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half years old. Yeah, excellent movie. Big fan. Um, okay. <laughs> Alright. It's not Smash. We're not doing Smash. We're not- it's not Smash. It's just... Panda stuff. You guys ready? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Panda Unforgiven. Stop unforgiving. Hold on. Let me update this. I'm going to restart OBS. Also, you guys are going to laugh at me when you see my desktop. That was an accident. I swear to God. When that happened, I accidentally right-clicked an image on my thing, and it just happened to be that. I swear to God I didn't do that on purpose. I just realized this is the first time you guys have seen it. <laughs> I want you guys to know it somehow happened by accident. That's not normal. That wasn't supposed to happen. I wouldn't have done that on myself. I, I swear. I swear to God, it, it was, it's a coincidence. I swear to God. Okay? <laughs> Please believe me. Okay? Not on purpose. Okay. Oh my god. Say unforgiven. <laughs> Why is that an emote? That's insane. It's so stupid. This is gonna be in the back of the panda video now. Okay. Yeah, you guys got to subscribe to fix it. Otherwise, it's going to keep being dark. It needs one sub. Hey, I haven't said it yet. Primes, primes. If you have a prime, check below the stream. Might have a Twitch prime. You can save everybody from the darkness. Okay. Thanks, Abilene. Thanks for the gift. They're saved. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Panda YouTube. Welcome to today's video. There's something that we used to do on the channel that we haven't done in a long time. I don't remember if I did it. I think I did like two years ago, and we got to do it again because we have so many new people on the team. Uh, look how excited my chat is for it. Look at that. Big shout outs to Noah. Noah's Boas, now you're in the video. Congratulations. It used to be uh, a sort of rite of passage that we would get people new to the channel to do this. This is a sort of ego clout check. Welcome to Akinator. He's a genie that guesses things. Sort of like 20 questions. Uh, he'll try to guess people. And I just have to see if it'll get me. Um, 
I, 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 before I would draw a lot of comparisons to other content creators, but perhaps I have grown to a point, I think Flux kicked in there. I have, I, perhaps I am now bigger, right? Two years have passed. Maybe I'm a bigger creator now. Maybe it knows who I am. Let's go ahead and find out and see if uh, I'll be I'll be crushed by the weight of my own irrelevancy. What's child mode? What kind of questions does Akinator ask? Hmm. All right, guys, stop unforgiving. It doesn't even make sense. He can guess porn stars. Oh, aware. Is your character a girl? No. Real? Yes. Famous YouTuber? Probably not. It depends what you mean by famous. 85,000 is a lot of people. If there was a jester in the Renaissance era that had, had 85,000 people that came to watch him, That'd be pretty popular. I'll say probably not. YouTuber. <laughs> You're wasting a question here. Not really a YouTuber. Probably. I'm not, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. A singer. No. Not at all. Actor. Well, I have been. Probably not. In your eye, I've acted before. Well, I, reacting is acting. It's there in the words. So yes, actually. An adult, yes. Movies. Well, I would call them movies, but you know, that's a no. Fine. I call them movies. He calls them videos. You know, I don't know what Akinator's gonna say. Is your character American? Yes. Minecraft gaming. Not known for Minecraft gaming, although he did have a nice little Minecraft arc, and a lot of people loved that. But no. Have a symbol as an eye. No. Don't know what that is. <laughs> uh. He's stumped. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Akinator, are you okay? Uh. <laughs> I, I don't know what threw him down this path. No. He thinks I'm Esam now. No, I'm not. I, I don't have a bald head. A group? Uh. I mean, I get it. Does Panda count? I guess I'm in the video right now. I guess that counts. I, Bacchinator, you got uh, nerdy? No, absolutely not. No. The, this is a pivot. Who the hell could I be? Ah, not a nerd. Definitely a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. No question. Also a YouTuber. Uh, no, I'm not from YouTube, but I'll say yes. Black hair, no. Uh, <laughs> this guy loves YouTube, no. Swear wood, yes. More than he would like. No glasses, unless I'm shilling the HyperX. Take that out of the video. <laughs> Made out of fire. No. Uh, well? <laughs> no. <laughs> then why watch? Not even a little. Said a 12-month sub. What? Not funny says 12 months. So you've been here for over a year. There are countless other streamers. How did I get you? Yes, he is known for that. No. Wait, is Fortnite Season X, is that the one with The Rock? <laughs> Does he think I'm The Rock? Uh, he asked if I was bald. I, I wouldn't say chubby. Chubby is a spectrum. I am working out. I don't think I'm chubby. I'm average size. No. Who? <laughs> Who 
was that? I don't know who that is. Hello, Cunning. This is my and see you okay. gaming will just yeah. wanted to say thank you for remembering you're that you're part yeah. of the Panda family. Yeah. And remind you that if you say you weren't, you would be subjugated to termination of job or otherwise. Thank you, John Panda. Appreciate you stopping by the stream. Would love to talk about a pay raise sometime soon, but appreciate you not asking me on the spot. He is from College Humor. He is one of the most creative people I have watched. I don't know who that is. I, it's a no. Let's keep going. Compose nocturnes? <laughs> No. What? What does that even mean? Dude, he's he's fucked. Akinator, I He's he does it. No. No. That's so specific. Well, yeah, kind of. No, he got so excited. He got so excited. Uh, podcast? You're Korean. No. Man. Uh, not yet. He's so off base. <laughs> I, I think I have to start over. D wait. Wait. No. <laughs> no, he is not. What is that? What's Tiny Meat Gang? What kind? This is a very personal question. The fuck is this? A musical duo? How did they get their name? Their first EP. Bangers and ass. I'm offended. Ugh. What? How do you even say that? Oh, that's Cody Co. This is Merp Panda's intern, Connie, for Why asking we for a raise in donations? response to your loyalty and hard work for Panda. We have sent you a <laughs> gift basket of Panda branded gummy warm soaps and a $25 gift Thank card you. to Circuit City. Thanks, Ten Frank. more years for Best Buy One. Appreciate it. EJZ1. We are looking at how to pronounce his real full family name, which I believe is of Polish origin and spelt K O L O D Z L E J Z Y K. How did we make a whole video out of this? So, how would you go about pronouncing his name? It's not Kolodziejek, as it may appear to be. It's not Kolodziejek, as many say it is on the internet. That's completely wrong, but rather Kolodziejek. Pretty straightforward, right? Thanks. Could have just done that way quicker. Kolodziejek. No, I'm not Tiny Meat Gang. Hmm? Dude, he's lost. Wait! 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 Why does he know Smash? Why would he go Smash right away? Wait! Wait! He's pulling it around. Wait a minute. We're only at question 40. Uh... Close! You know, we're, we're getting there. Only, like, 15 more of these. I'll get there. A leader? I... No. I guess not. I, Maybe you should be less distracted. He's like on his phone and shit. Akinator, come, focus up. I'd say you're a leader. That's my actual job title. Lead. He doesn't know. How high? <laughs> no. How high? Okay, wait. No, let's go! Why is married what did it? That's so weird. Ghost? No. Married? Yes, Coney. Got it. Submitted by Coney? I didn't submit that, by the way. I didn't do that. I don't know who did that. It wasn't me. I didn't do that. 
I didn't do that. I didn't do that. There's th no, I didn't do that. It's not verified. You can't tell. I didn't do that. This was my Twitter picture at the time. Great picture. Thank you. I did not do that. You may have done it years ago and forgot. I didn't do it. I did not do that. <laughs> near at moment. That seems like a near at thing to do. Okay. Regardless, I got myself and it was easy. It only took four. I could get it faster, right? That was like 40 something questions. It... I, I think I threw it off. Let's get it. I could get it faster. Hold on. We'll speed run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys akinatoring? Are we killing the site? Thanks, Juked. What's happening here? I've been played 38 times already. That's it? <laughs> I feel like everybody's on Akinator right now. Must be my influence. The site's just dead. Is your character cringe? <laughs> he doesn't ask that. That's not a genie question. That's mean. Akinator would never. Why don't you put it in child mode? Okay, here we go. Real, yes. Not a female. Famous YouTuber, I, again, I don't know. How about that? A singer, no. I don't know what he considers famous. I don't think ADK is famous. Well, maybe he does. Maybe the person who submitted that does. I, you know what I mean? Oh, hell yeah. Through and through till the day I die. Have a pet. Yeah. Married. Wait. Wait. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Hard right. Don't even know what that is. He was barreling at the right answer and then just immediately took a hard turn. I don't know what Afmao is. Akinator has an Among Us on his hat. You're trying way too hard. That's a Pac-Man. Oh my god, wait, I see it. Wait, I didn't see it before. Now I see it. Now I kind of see it. I kind of see it. By the way, that's not a hat. That's a good... Somebody in chat said hat? That's... That's not a hat. That's a turban. Why do we call it a hat? I see the Among Us now. It's a bit of a stretch, but I do kind of see it. I don't know what FGTV is. No. Well, I do like playing it. We actually had a long conversation. I was uh, I was with Jacob today, and we were doing the podcast. We were talking about we want to bring back Roblox, the survival thing. But I'm going to say no, because he's going to go off on a wrong thing. No. No. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Look up how? how? That guy? His favorite food is malasada. Okay. <laughs> that, that, again, this feels like He's really honed in on one thing. No. Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know if I'd call them emerald, but they're quite, uh, quite charming, quite appealing. <laughs> emerald. Show their face, I guess. I, I'm just on a screen. More azure. <laughs> I would say more sapphire. 
wait. Oh, he's got it. He's locked it. Uh, I mean, I did once. Right? Oh, this question comes up sometimes. What do I say? Because it's not my mascot. It's just the team logo. Right? I guess it has to be a yes. But I don't know if it's like... This question always comes up whenever I do this. I guess it's a yes. And he's going to lock it in. What? <laughs> no. I, I don't know what... That's not even correct grammar. You had it locked in. Why are we still trying to gather information? No. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, who did he have it locked in on? Wait, who are the two people? He had it between me and a sea creature. What if I said yes? Not a giant kraken? Oh, it must be Coney. Oh, okay. It's either Coney or Leviathan of the Deep. What the fuck? A fucking sea slug? Is it Coney or the Stingray that killed Steve Irwin? How did he have it locked down to two things? Whatever, I'm just glad I'm getting myself. When I used to do this, it used to just say Ludwig over and over. So, phew, we've made it. And I did not do that myself, by the way. I definitely did not do that. I didn't do that. Do TK? All right, let's try TK. I don't know if it'll get, like, smash casters. You know what I mean? Say Jam? Do you think it'll get Say Jam? It got you? Yeah, but I mean like like mostly casters. You know what I mean? If it got you, it'd probably get TK. Maybe. You're considered a Smash commentator? Yeah, but I feel like this happens when like you're like YouTuber. This is YouTuber land. You know what I mean? It will absolutely get Say Jam. Are, you think? Try getting Dark Peach. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hold on. No way it gets Say Jam. I don't think it will. Mushrooms? Say Jam is big? I know Say Jam is big, but I don't see Say Jam fans putting him into Akinator. Say Jam is huge. I just feel like Say Jam fans wouldn't put him in here. You know what I mean? You put yourself in. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. Nine person group. Say Jam doesn't cuss a lot, right? Sajan would never put himself in. Right, and neither would I. He doesn't really cuss a lot. No. No. He's not married, right? No? Okay. No. No. Yes. No. Esport. No. Uh. Wait. Who? <laughs> what kills me about this is it'll just drop these people that I've never heard of that are way more successful and have way more money than I will ever have. It's like that time when like Minecraft Twitter started just posting like he said what and I just find out about a new guy with brown hair every evening. It's crazy. All right, I don't know who J-Man Curly is. We'll keep going. A mother figure. I'm so happy they stopped that. I don't know if they did, but... No. I think it thinks Eris there. <laughs> I, do, I don't know if it'll get Sajam. Sajam is huge. He's big, but this is kind of mean kind of fucked up. No, he's great. No way, right? He's got like a hundred something. England? No. 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 
No. No. Yes. Eh. Not really, right? Probably. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, I would say more. No. This is... We're at 50 now. He's so locked in. Does he teach? Probably? I No, I'm gonna say no. Oh shit, he got it! Wait, who submitted this? Ha... Wait a minute. How did... Yeah, how did he know who he was? Without... Submissions are for pictures only. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I don't know how he got that, but there you go. Only took 50. Good job. Played 117 times. Damn. Last played on a week ago. Maybe he got added while you were searching. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quick person. Okay, well, I found myself, and it was kind of easy. Uh, and, and I didn't do that. I didn't submit that. I, I, I guess it's more popular than I thought. I didn't think people would actually be on Akinator. Whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope everybody else got themselves too. Because if they didn't, then it'd be kind of bad. Because I only got myself. And you guys didn't. Bye, Panda. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Subscribe. Bye. What a shitty outro. <laughs> oh. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Now, the stream can go one of two ways. We can either play the looker. The smash label cuts out so many possibilities. Yeah. Or... I want to play the looker. We do have to play marbles. We're going to do that in a little bit. First. The Angels and Mariners bench is clear. <laughs> Baseball posting. Dude, he's yelling out. You're good. You're Holy good. Like, shit. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, I was ready to go again. I was going to do it again. <laughs> and having fun. But he's not. Glacius is pissed. He's mad. Now he's going to beat up his own dugout. He's going to take that cooler. He's going to take all those cups. He's going to take that Gatorade. Dude, you're just fucking up your own dugout. Gum, and he's like, this is perfect. You're on the field. Chucks it all the way to third base, shortstop. And he's like, why the hell did I get ejected? All I was trying to do is make peace. This guy's cleaning up sunflower <laughs> seeds. And he's happy about it. He needed a distraction. And these players also. You know, Individually? You this is sad times. But they're like, dude, give me something to do. Give me something to do. I don't want to be part of this anymore. So they're cleaning it up. They're having a blast. There is one more part. It's my favorite What's going part on about here? when I was what? doing They're cleaning it up. They're having a blast. What is this editing? What? I'm getting jump scared. Hold on. Did you see it? Wait. Was it there? Did you guys see what I saw? <laughs> is this some exorcist shit? I can't find it. Part about when I was doing all this, probably spent 10, 15. <laughs> what the fuck? Why can't I get it? Ah, there he is. Found him. Okay, I thought I was going crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? 10, 15 hours okay. on this one. It was like so much footage and so many people. <laughs> there to look he at. is. But my guy, Thor, he pops up from the melee at one point looking like Snuffleupagus. He's just, he's got his hair shaking outside of his shirt. He's going to pop up. He can't see. Hair's in his <laughs> face. Shirt's over his head. Where was I? Fixes his hair. Gets himself pretty. And then right back to helping his teammates and <laughs> separating the pile. Way to be. Snuff he looked like a Muppet. And then right back. Whole, it's, like, it's like the Adams Family guy. Oh, my God. This must be terrible. Having this long hair and having a hood on like this. Oh, dear God. That's awful. He looks like a mind flayer. That's terrifying. It's pretty fun. Okay. 
All right, good movie, good movie. Who won the game? I don't care. I don't know who won the fucking game. You guys want to play some marbles? Huh? John Boyd just got a commentary spot for the Yankees? Oh, shit, really? That's crazy. Good for him. Holy shit. Wait, a commentary spot? What does he do? I mean, I guess he commentates, but like... How would he... Yeah, I get, he commentates, but like, officially? Like, on the team? Secondary broadcast. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying I don't think he could do that. You know what I mean? They wouldn't put him on the main broadcast. He's a YouTuber. Yankees have their own channel. Okay, well, whatever. All right, let's play some marbles. Hold on, I got to get the marbles up. Marbles on stream! All right. <laughs> this music. Oh, boy. <laughs> this music is... It sounds sarcastic. Guys, Captain TV has teamed up with Marbles on Stream to launch creator codes in Marbles on Stream and support creators. Streamers can visit Captain.tv and download the Captain Hub Launcher in order to find out more about how they can get their own creator code like I have. It looks like I have gotten... I think people may have bought in coins. I haven't played, so we're waiting for a match, so we'll get some XP. All right, join up. I don't know how to do it. It's been a long time since I've played. Isn't it like I start... Wait, race? No, don't join yet. Don't just stop joining. Not yet, I don't think. Wait. Isn't it like... Add names. Clear. Open. Oh, wait, no, that's that. What? It's like... You literally said to. Well, wait a second. <laughs> Give me a second, okay? I think... Okay, let's pick a map. Surely there's like... Wait, can you guys vote? There's one vote on the boomerang. Nobody... Nothing else has a vote. So, okay, there we go. Max number of players. Can I do a thousand? Ten thousand? Can I do that? Oh, you guys can vote. Yeah, vote vote numbers. Vote three. Delta. Fine. Delta. You guys got it. Sure. Oh, wait. Is it exclamation point play? All right. Now join. There we go. Join up. Join with exclamation point play. All right. Hop in. Hop in. I don't think I've seen this. How do I unlock the camera? I know there's like a way, right? This is a lot of marbles. Holy shit. Alt F4. That's not it. And I know that's not it. Snap to Cinecam settings. Wait. Here we go. I'm unlocked. Let's take a look at the field. Press B. Like in chat? <laughs> Oh my god, I could just watch the blimp. That's amazing. I could go in the blimp. I'm the blimp now. Wait, this is it? Oh, it's just a three turns. Why did you guys vote for this? Coney, click join on the top. Wait, can I join? Now I'm racing. <laughs> oh boy. You picked it, asshole. You voted for it, okay? Guys, if, you, if you're getting in late, I wouldn't even join. I wouldn't even join at this point. You're so far back. However, I do want to see how high we can get this number. If you're a lurker, please hit exclamation point play. I just want to see. <laughs> I want to see how high it can go. I'm curious. <laughs> We're almost at 400. What does the winner in this race get? Hmm. It's a good question. You should get a... Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Foxybot is fancy. 
And remember, you could be fancy too. Hit exclamation point marbles in the chat and you could purchase some lovely cosmetics. They are the only fancy marble. I can't even see me. Wait, Thigh Gobbler, we're gonna find you. Uh. <laughs> uh, hmm. D D chat, point them out when you see them. <laughs> Thigh Gobbler. I'll be here a long time. Oh, there you are! Gotcha! See? We found you. I told you we would. All right, let's start it up. Ready? Ten seconds. Hurry! Join in. Ten se- Wait, ten seconds. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How do I see everybody's name? What? Wait. Top ten, one zero, slow, player card sprint, d top- Top 10, one, zero. Why is it going so slow? Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Three. Oh, I hit slow. I hit slow. Okay, I did that. Here we go. Wait, how do I turn the names on? No. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Look at Foxy's ball. Wait, how do I turn the names on? What do I do? Alt. Sean 1909 out in front. Along with mailbox. Mailbox head? Mail. Mail. Mailbox head. <laughs> What's even propelling them? They're so fast. Look how quickly they're going. Pikachu man zap is bringing up the rear. I don't know what happened here. Having a terrible time there in the back. Really struggling. Going around the lamps. Mailbox head has come out ahead. Along with CD, RGV, and Lemon Cake. Wait, okay, second lap now coming around. It's three laps overall. Lemon Cake now pulling out in the front. Oh, Jesus. Thanks for the support, Hexicle. Didn't know it would be that loud. Thanks for the 125 coins. Go ahead and buy yourself a nice marble. Can anybody go outside of the arena? No way you go fast enough, right? Yeah, Lemon Cake, there's no way they lose here. They're so far ahead. Jag Samurai coming out in second. Not bad. <laughs> they look so small from up front. Oh, God. This is scary. <laughs> this would cause actual brain damage. All right, yeah, it's Jag Samurai in front now. Along with Lemon Cake, Sip and Soda. Okay. What, if we, what do we get if we win? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll keep it a surprise for now. Oh my god, thank you ZDR9 for the 125 coins. I should turn that down, but I don't know how. So just... <laughs> just maybe adjust your volume. Wait, Golden Rays, what? Where did Golden Rays come from? Golden Rays won? Where did Mailbox Head go? What? What happened? That's crazy. Oh my god, that's a lot of XP. Good job, everybody. We're moving up. Almost have a ticket. Wait, where's Mailbox Head? 27th. What a fall from grace. I actually got fucked up there. Terrible. Golden Rays? What do I get? Oh, you're an N in the chat? You know what? For an N, I'll drop a VIP. Congratulations. You're lucky. You were a uh, you were a you were an N. Because if you weren't, we were gonna have a problem. Long time subscriber, well done. Thank you, Regnilla, for the 125 coins. I'll drop one of those. Okay, we're gonna do another race. This one, if a non-sub wins, I'll gift six months of subbing. Ask me about my weenie hut. Thanks for the thanks for the prime gaming. If a non-sub wins this, I'll give you six months of subs. Okay? Thanks, Java! 300 coins! Wahoo! I don't that doesn't give uh XP, I guess. But it does give me money, so thank you. <laughs> and now you get a fancy ball. Check it out. Look at all these what? 
you can get ball for only 100 coins. Want to make your ball stand out? Hit exclamation point marbles. You can also get a cube or an alien. Oh my god, there's so many marbles. A diamond? The diamond ball? <laughs> Check it out. Wow, how fancy. The Season 35 bundle is on sale. You can get Citrus Friends. And an umbrella with a straw. That looks very distracting. Okay, next race. If a non-sub wins, six months. Okay? Alright, where are the votes? You guys didn't even see the numbers. You voted for 69. I saw a few people did. 69 is not a number. Buckshot. Fine, go. This is what you wanted. <laughs> go ahead and type exclamation point jaw. No, it's play. Why do I always say join? Exclamation point play in the chat. Non subs get six months. Uh, real subs. We'll see. We'll see how long you've been here. All right, let me see. How do I get on? There we go. What? All these little tabs. Oh, you're going to hit the target? Wait, then who wins? What? Is it whoever hits the target first? Closest to the center. <laughs> All right, that's amazing. That's terrific. Who can get closest to the middle on this one? Uh, which one of these is even good for that? This one? I guess? I know a lot of people will get knocked off. Yeah, you can fall off on this one. Let's take a look at everybody. Everybody line up at the front. Take a look at the fancy ones. Ooh. Who's that? No. Stop. Foxy Bot changing up the skin on this one. Oh my god, it even has like a different uh title thing. Has the vine. Must be a whale. Hold on. I <laughs> this is so unwieldy. The only fancy ball here. <laughs> Does this spell something? No, I keep seeing like words here. All right. Oh, God. When you turn on names, it gets crazy. All right. Here we go. We're going to start it up. Start. Where's my mouse? Huh? Go. 450 competitors enter. Go. Very slow to start. I love slowing it down. It's so dramatic. Is anybody falling off right at the start? No, I guess not. You can't early. Omnitoad! Okay, I was saying out to a very early lead, but no. Just went off on the side and now is getting uh, run over. Speed isn't really the goal here. You don't want to be the first one in. Really, you want to be... Oh, there goes Copal. <laughs> Copal's dead immediately. And if it is Koppel, it's Koppel now. Uh, John Boy, Cal Dude. Oh my god, so many people just perished. Scratchy, Ivan, Thigh Gob. There's Thigh Gobbler. Okay. Enough about those losers. All right, let's take a look at Otani over here. <laughs> Odo on EBHC. Slowly rolling up to the front. Your cam blocks the death messages. Oh, does it? All right, I'll move then. Hit the boost. That's not going to the middle. Wait! Wait! Oh, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, you can knock other people? Oh, no. They're going to knock each other out of the way. <laughs> Here they come. A lot of people getting close to the middle. I can't, I can't, I can't tell who's the most, it's a mess. This is a mess. This is a disaster. How do I tell who's closest? Hey, I do see Foxy right up here. Not close at all. Maybe you spend a bit more money. Oh my God. 
This is making me slightly uncomfortable. I don't know. It's like a bunch of gnats. I don't know why I I I, I don't. This is just gr it's like bees in a honeycomb. You know what I mean? It's a face, kind of. Like the eye, the eye. No, no, no. I want to see. Uh, Super Celeste wins! Hooray! <laughs> I wanted to see more, but I guess that's it. Okay. Congratulations, Super Celeste. Hold on. Speak. Speak in chat this instant. Don't try to hide. Is it a non sub? Oh, shit! Congratulations! Hold on. Six months. Send it. Congratulations, non-subs. There you go. You made it. Six months of subscription to Super Celeste. And you earned it. The most centered on that one. Is there any way to see how close you were? Well, I could see your names here. I could tell you who was the worst. Copel died immediately. Oh, Godoyf! Oh, no. That's so sad. Click the balloon next to their name. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it would show that. <laughs> this tells the whole tale. Play boost, no! <laughs> oh, what a story. I'm sorry, John. You couldn't make it. What did Neeret say? <laughs> Neeret would. Fell off immediately. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> These are fun. Oh! Wow. That was totally... Oh, my God. That was totally random. <laughs> this is fun. Play, bruh. There's so many tales. So many stories to be told here in the in the late game, right? This is amazing. I love marbles. All right. Next one gets banned. Vote. We're going to the House of Pain on the next one. Next one gets banned until Tuesday. You don't get to see Cuphead tomorrow. Welcome to the House of Pain. Well, you can watch Cuphead. You guys are just... You won't be able to chat. Join up! Why do people join? It's so bizarre. People join immediately. Welcome to the House of Pain. <laughs> Banned if you win or lose? If you win and lose... First place and last place will be banned. Oh, this is Bowser time. Yeah. Wait, no. Play Bowser time song. Hold on. <laughs> Bowser time Mario Party. Wait a minute. So, on Sunday... The Score Esports just posted a video. This is ridiculous with the HBox payout. Wait. Wait a minute. Drama? Wait a minute. <laughs> well, well, well. Might need to watch that one later. Fresh content. Oh, boy. XQC reacted to it? That came out four hours ago. Really? Holy shit. That's crazy. All right, guys, so uh, remember, first place and last place get banned until Tuesday, which means no Cuphead chat. You can still watch Cuphead, and I encourage you to do so. All right, start it up. Can I haggle my way out of the ban? You could certainly try. Try to sweet talk your way. Welcome to the House of Pain! I feel like you want to get ronnie right? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to... No, how do I pause? How do I pause? I forgot to put on Bowser time. What? Okay, now we just... This is our music now. 
Goodbye, Pergs. I think Pergs is first out. I think Pergs actually might get banned. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's first to finish... Uh, what's happening here? <laughs> you got stuck? Bam Bam, John Boy, and Impossible Not. It, it, this is some Hunger Games shit. Power Trio. Decided not to play at all. All right, let's go back. What? Ooh, I'm in the trenches. Uh-oh, Nick. The future does not look bright for you, Nicholas. Oh, dear. Perhaps you should slow down a bit. It's like in the incredible... Oh, Chino, uh, Chino Ame? And Snug. Oh, no. They're gone. They're going to perish. <laughs> you kind of want to get knocked around a little bit, I think. Nope, nope. Eyes on the prize trying to make it to the end. This is actually a great prize if you have finals or something, you know. If you have something you should be doing Tuesday anyway. Don't even get tempted to watch. They're gone. Wait! Chino! Chino won. Ravel was so close. Chino's gone. Oh, wait. I'm going to get banned. Yeah, you sure are. Yeah. You better stop. Okay. Type your defense now in chat, and I'll read it. Good luck. Wait, no! E. Compton! Never mind. Never mind. Oh. E. Compton blasted you. Chino, type your defense currently in chat, because I'll be able to read it here. I think. Wait, no, you can't. T what the fuck am I talking about? Whatever. I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see you on Tuesday. Make a ban appeal. Yeah. All right. Who's the last person in? Last person in also gets banned. Not the person who, who jumps off the cliff. An ugly turtle. Wait, are those three still up there? No, I think they got jiggled out. Zoop Lord die. <laughs> Alexis and guy is made guy made of bees. These are your final two, I think. Who's the last to finish? I think Alexis. I think you're gonna take a little a little break. I think we're gonna have to see you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to see you on a on, on come Tuesday, and we call it that because you're gonna have to come to Tuesday stream. Goodbye, Alexis. E Compton, escort them away. <laughs> what about the stuck ones? They got burned up. That doesn't count. No, 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 no. The ones that got burned up or didn't finish got blasted. Check their last words. I'm back. All right. Get rid of them. Goodbye. What was uh, Alexis's final words? <laughs> Everyone, give them a nice salute. Goodbye. Oh, no. <laughs> Tried to boost so much. Boost, no, oh, no. Boost, boost, and then just accepted it. Goodbye, chatter. It's over for you. Yeah, was Perks the first one out? No! <laughs> They will never be sent to the Shadow Realm. I thought Perks was gone. I can't read that. I don't know what that is. Thanks, Uncle So. Let's go. I fell off second. I'm the best at dying unforgiven. <laughs> Look at all the salutes. Oh, that's fun. Okay. We'll do another one. Wait, Mario Party 7 Bowser time? Ugh. I don't like that one. This one. Ah. Thank you, Ocreant. I don't... Can I say that? 
Okay, thank you. Okay. This time... If it's a non-sub... I will gift... A year... Of Coney subs. 12 months. If it is a sub... The sub... Hmm. I couldn't hear that over the ad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you got ads? Okay. Wait, the non-subs can't even hear this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. If it is a sub... Hmm. Oh, what's that? Oh, thank you, Shamu. Oh, got the season 35 bundle. Thanks for the support. Sub get I'm not giving people mod. I'm not doing that. That sounds like a disaster. Coney, are we gonna get banned in the Discord if we lose? No! No, you just get banned from chat for a little bit. Give fifth place $75? Okay. If it's a sub VIP. If it's a sub VIP. If it's a non-sub, 12 months. Wait, they got banned from the Discord? Okay, well, I didn't do that. You did that. That's fucked up. Oh, no. Coney, I'm doing it anyway. Okay, well, we'll... Fine. I can't control them. All right, go ahead and vote. Vote on a track, everybody. Here you go. I'm gonna slowly go down. Pick the name you like. Few will survive. Twisted Toothpick? Alienated? <laughs> Pixel's Procedural Pathway. Two people voted 42. Mountain Mingle. How many maps are there? Bro, I like Gerg Splashtastic Sea Venture. Can we get some votes for 60, please? I love the Splashtastic Sea Venture. Come on. It sounds splashtastic. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Okay. What was the next highest? Oh, the procedural pit. It's just whichever one I talk. Okay. Got it. Yeah, we're going... Sp it's splashtastic. Oh, God. It scared me. Oh, shit! Wait a minute. This rules! Yo! It is splashtastic. You guys had to go up the... <laughs> had to go all the way up? Oh my god, this guy's sunburned. That guy got messed up. So you just... Go up the thing. Have you guys ever stopped riding water slides? Because they were so... Uh, it takes so long to climb up the thing. I hate that. It takes forever. Even if there's no line. You just have to climb all the way up the... There has to be a better way. Like a big-ass elevator? You should use follow cam. Number keys. Wait, what? Number keys? Is that what this is? What? What's follow cam? I'm so confused. The other number keys. It's not doing anything. I'm hitting them, but... Maybe once the race starts. Alright, let's take a look at the tracks. Oh, this one kind of bangs. You could go up into the Kraken, which goes up and then, I guess, back down. Okay. And then goes... Oh my god! The Kraken is a 90 degree angle. Holy shit! Alright, the Kraken goes down... POV, you are a ball. And it goes all the way down there. I think probably the best route is the jellyfish. You go down, and then this way. Oh, wait, no, this one's kind of long. This one's not great, because you gotta, like, go. Yeah, this is. This is Coggers. The jellyfish is Coggers. And then you go back up, and then splash. 
What's the green one? Green one goes down. Oh, this is the shark. No, this isn't the shark one. Coggers go around, back up into the jellyfish. Oh, the, the green is the toilet bowl. All right, green is toilet bowl. And blue is manta ray? I thought it was a shark. It is a shark. It's just shaped like a manta ray. Okay. All right, here we go. Last chance, exclamation point, play. And... <laughs> this is an excellent map. This shit rules. Go! Okay, wait. Followers? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, I see. I can check out who's first. Carson 4 out and first. Gotta go... Okay, we're going jellyfish on this one. However, not first anymore. Magic Mines now out in the first place. But now it's Pell, even though that's literally not true. I think Follower... And there's the Arendt. That was totally on accident. I think Followers doesn't work on this one because it's all over the place. What's happening down... Oh, you fell out of the ride. Please don't sue the park. I think the winners right now... Oh, they're going slow. What the fuck? Why are they so slow in the Kraken? The Kraken is slowing them all down. Drekki taking a leisurely stroll. There's the toilet bowl. Wait a minute. I have no idea who's out in first. Uh, wait! That's it! The jellyfish was best! Oh, wait. No, now they're slow! Wait, the jellyfish have a slowdown! Wait, who's gonna make it? Just Yumo! Coming out in front! Just Yumo is gonna break ahead! Just Yumo wins! Just Yumo wins! At the very... Wait, no. Wait, it's not over! It's not over! Wait! Angry Goomba! Falls to the finish line! <laughs> I didn't know there was an ending. Oh, that's so sad. Angry Goomba coming out ahead at the very end. Congratulations to Angry Goomba. Hope they're a non-sub. There's Lunk all the way in the back here. What? Oh no, Lunk died. Lunk is in the wave pool. Good race. Is that it? Is that... <laughs> Drummer? <laughs> Come on. Come on. POV, you are drummer. <laughs> All right. Just enjoying the slide, I see. Congratulations. Wait. Oh, wait. They might get eaten up. The fire rises. <laughs> All right. They made it. They made it to the end. Congratulations, Angry Goomba. The victor. Go ahead and type in chat. Sub or non-sub? Hmm? Oh, God. Here it comes. It's going to be loud. Get ready. <laughs> All right. I'm waiting for Angry Goomba. Angry Goomba, you got to you gotta type. Type like crazy. Go crazy. Blue name means sub. Oh, really? Okay, sick. I'm waiting for them in chat. Wait, it's gifted? Oh, it's a C? Okay, well, you're going to get a nice little... There we go. And mobile, so my responses are late. No problem. Enjoy this badge. Congratulations. You're now a VIP. You've earned it. Even on mobile. There we go. I'm gifted. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Gifted and mobile, I can't get it. Well, they made it. They made it. I can't take it away now. You could... Dude, that sucks. You're gifted, so you only get this month of subs. Man. Tough. You're not going to get those extra 11 months. Energy earned. Streamers earn bonus XP for each bonus tier Eraser compete, uh, completes. Wow. Good job, everybody. A C getting VIP. Hey, they earned it. I don't know what to tell you. All right, one more race. One more race. Vote on your favorite map. Dude, I can't believe that one. The Splashtastic Adventure was so low. That's crazy. 
This is another band. One more band. First to finish and last to finish. And last to finish, not last to die. Coney influenced them to vote 13. The Raging Pin. Vote 13 right now. I hope it's good. Vote 13 this instant. That really is that easy. Being a streamer is criminal. I want Devil's Chaos Unforgiven. I can't believe we found a use case for Unforgiven. <laughs> what does this even mean? Hmm. What does this even mean? In context. I'm sick of this. Oh, I gotta add mullet champ. I forgot. I do I did promise to add it at 2500 subs. Okay, we'll add it. Raging pin it is. Dude, this song just keeps going. Ugh. Mario Party 3 had a good Bowser track, I think. Right? Yeah! This shit goes nuts. Alright, join up, everybody. Alright, let's take a look at the core. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Actual Ronnie'd. This is a true Ronnie'd moment. So wait, what happens? Do you want to die? Where's the finish? I don't know how to end it. I don't know how you win. <laughs> you need the death notifications for this? Yeah, wait a minute. Because I think death notifications are... They pop up behind this. So we'll move this over here for right now. I think I might block it too. Do I block it? I'll go over here. We'll go up here. We'll go up here. No, wait, but that also has the... Okay, we'll go over here. We'll go over here. Because that has the placements. I hate top right Cody. It does feel weird. I don't like it either. I'm a bottom right man at heart. Die equals ban? No. Absolutely not. Top left Coney is pretty good, though. Top left, top left Coney is all right. Full screen, 50% opacity Coney. The Overseer, you think? I'll give it up. Wait, I can't do it here? Oh, that's weird. I can do it this way. He who sees all. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Yes, my marbles! This is, I can't zoom in any better. This is the best I can get. Dance for my amusement. Okay, I think we're good. Is this enough? Op is it? Am I out of focus or in focus? I can't tell. Okay. Chroma key out your skin. Can you do that? One second. I'm gonna try. Oh god, here we go. This is gonna be weird.
Not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> Hello, marbles. Now we play the game of bands. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, is it black? Oh shit. Does it look like blackface? Okay, maybe just the transparent is okay. Maybe just the transparent is okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe this is fine. <laughs> maybe a little. I don't want to. I'm I'm on the razor's edge of getting canceled. I can't even. I can't. I gotta be very careful. All right. Start the race in ten seconds. Go. Let's play Angry Pin. All right, who's out in front? Ivan V, starting out in front with the what? That Zappa, right? That's the Zappa guy. Hoshi, Hoshi continue. I thought Hoshi fell off, but Hoshi kind of stuck here. SSB name, kind of cringe. Uh, hope they do win, but no, no ah wah hua. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. He's starting to make it through. Gets through the 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 coggers and all the way through. Rins it in both, bringing up the rear. I don't know how to say that name. Nuahua. Nuahaha. What do you even tell people? They're going to get pinned. Not a boost map, says unnamed Firestorm. I don't think you're going to stop them from boosting. Nothing could. Near, no way Nierret wins. No fucking way Nierret wins. Unbelievable. He's out in front. Horror behind, beyond comprehension. A fitting name. A new near it died. There he goes. Horror beyond comprehension was ahead and then just stopped for some reason. Some of these now pulling ahead. Everybody's dying. Everybody is falling off the stage. Will some of these reach glory? Or be bit? Die. Wait. What happens? Let's watch Drummer. Who again is... is okay, everybody's just sitting in the pit. Uh... I don't know what's supposed to happen here. I think we're gonna find out. Yoop! <laughs> wait, wait, what? Where do they go? Where are they going? Where are they going? What? Wh oh, they go down and then. <gasps> wait! Down here! What's that? Oh, it's the finish! Sergeant Pineapples! Sergeant Pineapples wins! Omega and Horror Beyond Comprehension right behind them. Oh, I didn't even know there was a hole there. That shit just... How many people died? Dude, so many people perished in pursuit of the Raging Pin. All right, see you Tuesday. <laughs> hey, remember, you can still watch tomorrow. You just can't participate in the chat. Sergeant Pineapples, congratulations. You finally get to know peace. I hope you enjoy your time off. Everybody salute. God bless. All right, who is the last to finish? Last to finish will also be taking a much needed break. Oh, I think it's Voltan. Wait, Ice Duke? Ice Duke, what's going on? Where, where did they go? Where did Ice Duke go? Did the fire kill them? What? Oh, wait, there they are. Wait, 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 wait a minute. There you go, Ice Duke. Okay, Ice Duke made it. Ice Duke made it. Congrats. Yay! Sergeant Pineapples wins. Congratulations. Good job. Oh, we hit level three. Oh, no, level four. Congratulations. Don't know what that means. I think I unlocked some stuff, maybe? Congratulations, Sergeant Pineapples. I hope you enjoy your break. Do I unlock stuff now? I'm level four. One more? <sighs> One more. You can give subs and non-sub skins? Oh, you can give skins, can't you? Wait, how do you do that? Can you gift it? 
purchase? <laughs> I have to buy coins. Hold on, let me make sure that this doesn't, uh... And then to make sure it doesn't show... <laughs> so now I'm just like this, while I block my monitor. The Steam overlay will pop up for continuing the purchase. How do you give them... How do you give it to them? Buy coins from your link. Oh, yeah! I forgot I could do that. Marbles. Here we go. We'll give away a skin. Am I dead? <laughs> yeah, how do you give away a skin? There's a loadout where they can use where you provide, but it's not a giveaway. Ah, got you. Okay. Okay. One more for a full-on ban with appeal required. No, that's awful. Come on. I could focus the cam here. Wait. Wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Winner has to give 10 subs. They're not going to do that. You know they won't do that. I just dropped off for my first Cody stream, and I have no clue what I've dropped into. Hi! Welcome! Thanks for stopping by. Winner gifts one subs. <laughs> Winner gets to make a tweet you have to post. Absolutely not. No way. Atriok did that, and the winner gifted subs. Okay! Let's do that! Winner has to give 50 subs. Good luck, everybody. The winner gives 50 subscribers. How about that? <laughs> Nobody's going to play. One sub. One sub. We'll give one sub. One sub is $5. <laughs> Surely. Surely. Come on. Influence number 17. Wait, where's 17? Cosmic Chaos? I don't know. Use your power to 42. Pixels Procedural Pathway? Is that a good one? I don't know. Maybe. This is a good time to remind you guys, remember, Captain TV has teamed up with Marbles on Stream to launch creator codes in Marbles on Stream and support streamers. Just like the one that you guys have seen in the chat a bunch of exclamation point Marbles, so you can see it. Streamers can visit Captain.tv and download the Captain Hub Launcher in order to find out more about how you can get your own creator code in Marbles on Stream. Wow! Amazing! Who's the streamer here? Maybe you guys are streamers too. Anybody can stream. All right, we'll do pixels. Go. Whatever. Send it. Pixels procedural pathway. Let's take a gander. Oh, God. Who's that? Did somebody make that set? Oh, my God. Look at the tryhards. Who's that? Oh, shit. It's the dev. You better not win. You better not win. Wait, this is your map. This is Pixel's procedural pathway. They're just going to warp to the end. <laughs> okay, if the dev wins, then you do have to give 50 subs. How about that? Shake? <laughs> As if they're not already sponsoring the stream. Dude, Jabba's Ball. Look at that. Holy crap. Oh, what a fancy ball here, Shamu. Fa oh, is this the founder pack? Gorgeous. Love it. You're leaking, though. Who is huge fart 89? Does that mean that you were born in 1989? That's your name? <laughs> oh, my God. Born in 1989, named huge fart. Okay. 
Any other cool balls? Wait. Oh, what's this one? Oh, a shark! ZDR9. That's very cute. My daughter would love this. A fancy sun ball. Very nice, Hexicle. Like the digs. Big fan. Very cool balls here. Wait a minute. Pretty good. What a thumbnail. Somebody's gonna come in and be scared to death. Okay. Two rain Dwayne the Rock Johnsons. Yeah. Dude, I was so proud when I was able to do that with my eyebrow. Amazing. Alright, here we go. Winner has to gift a sub unless you're the dev, and then you have to gift 75, just like we agreed to. That is what we said. Alright, let's lock it up. Roll it! What does procedural pathway mean? What could that possibly mean? What will happen? I didn't even look at the track. I should have. Oh, God. Everybody going down? Okay. Everybody died. That's half the field dead instantly. And there go more. Wait! Glass half wool! Wait, no, no, no. There was friend alias. Wait a minute! Glass half wool! Actually cheating! Really wanted to gift the subs? Wow, that's amazing! How generous of you! That's amazing! Has clef wool! I, 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 glass half wool, I can't wait to see your gift sub come in. Thank you so much. Excellent skip. Ban them for cheating? No, no, they wanted it more. Excellent skip! Can't wait to see your subscribe. However, they did cheat. That was the any percent, and we're gonna see. So it's actually two subs I need. Because what? What? Everybody's gonna die. What? The. <laughs> what? Everybody else died. Drop, drop the unforgivens in chat. Everybody got unforgiven. <laughs> Everybody went to hell. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> One person finished. Holy shit. What a W. Thank you for the sub, Glass Half Wool. Oh my god. Thanks, Java. Wait, Glass Half Wool wasn't even a sub. <laughs> they gifted one. <laughs> world record? That was the world record on that course? How do you know? Top right corner. What? He actually got the any percent. That's insane. Oh my god, I gotta drop a VIP. I gotta drop a VIP. I gotta drop a VIP on that. Congrat we have royalty in our midst. Holy crap. That's amazing. Marvel's history here on the stream. And you were here for it. And if you played, you died. Dev must be patching that in, yeah. <laughs> Dev's gotta patch that out instantly. Holy shit, thank you, Newman. Newman Numa? Yeah, that's it, thank you. I said it. Did you make your name that so I had to say Numa Numa? <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Big day in the Marbles community. Incredible. Congratulations, everybody. You made it. Big thanks to uh, Pixel by Pixel Studios for sponsoring the stream tonight. I love Marbles. I love any excuse I get to play it. Devin Chad is furious. <laughs> 
made history. Incredible. Big ups to Pixel. Everybody drop a salute for our friend. It was a fun sponsor stream. It was a good time. Big fan. Do you think you'll play the Live Alive demo on stream? Probably not on stream. Dude, that does not sound like a stream game at all. By any metric. Alright, let's get back down here. <laughs> I don't even know how big to make this. Because now my head's just huge. We got the big zoom. Okay. Alright, I'm back. I'll just leave it here. Fuck chat. I don't even care. Thanks, Just Yumo, for the gift. Thank you, Beloved, as well. Thank you, guys. Dude, yeah, Marbles is fun. I love Marbles. Dude, when they hit me up, I got an email to do a sponsorship for Marbles, and I, I was shocked. Gobsmacked. I was so excited. It was fun. Who got last? Uh, hmm. Last that actually finished? Wait, 457. Is that like a rank? Oh, shit. The last person... <laughs> Oh, well, well. Will can't ban himself. He can't seppuku with the sword. That's tough. AMD Big L. <laughs> Huge L. NVIDIA's better. Cringe. That's tragic. Oh. Good lord. <laughs> he caught fire. Oh, he was the first to die. Wait, did he not fall off? I thought he fell off. Burned up on the starting line. Okay, damn. I kind of want to watch the Smash Payouts video. But I kind of want to save it. Ah, I'll save it. I'll save it till later. Yeah, we're going to save it. We'll watch it another time. We're done for tonight. That's it. Stream's over. I got a lot of stuff to do before Gommel. So we gotta call it. I got stuff I gotta do. I gotta go to bed. I know. The stream just started. It's been three hours! What do you mean? It's done. It's bedtime. We're gonna raid... Blah, 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 blah. Who do we wanna raid? Raid Connor, sure. Apparently there's somebody in Connor's chat that keeps playing Toad. Uh, the Toad Jam? Over and over? Over and over and over? I don't know who's doing that, but... Oh, wait! Games Done Quick is going on! Oh, shit! No, 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 no. We'll raid Games Done Quick, because I won't get the chance to do it later. We'll raid that. It's a good charity. Check it out. Yeah, it's good. Because uh, I won't be able to do it later. I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do Connor tomorrow, maybe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I totally forgot that was going on. Go ahead and do that. Go watch game. I still have this song playing. Go watch Games Done Quick. Have fun. Your stream is on the map record now? Hell yeah. Perfect. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Cuphead tomorrow. All night. Cuphead. And then I have to do a bounty. Cuphead and bounty. Cuphead and bounty. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. Thanks, Chris MC, for the prime. And if anybody else primes, I'll thank them right now. But you better do it quick because the raid's going to end. You got to do it fast. You got to prime now or I'm going to miss it. If you prime now, you get a very special thank you. If you do it... Oh my god, thank you, Cultist Kill. You didn't have to do that. Holy shit, actual thank you for that. Good lord. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good Ooh, night. Big thanks. Vacuous, thank you. Big ups. Whenever I think of Vacuous, I think of Rom. The spider, you know. Oh, they gifted it to Huge Fart. Never mind. 